Quantum atom theory is based on two simple ideas. The first is that the wave equation does not just predict what the wave function will be in the future, but that this process represents the forward passage of time itself, photon by photon, or moment by moment. The second idea is that Heisenberg's uncertainty principle is the same uncertainty that we have with any future event. From these two simple ideas, quantum mechanics can be explained in a way that exactly fits in with our everyday experience of nature and time, moving from a known past into an uncertain future. Only a universal and continuous process could create the diversity we see within our universe. In quantum atom theory, this continuous process is the time continuum itself, forming the geometry of space-time. It is because time forms a timeline from the past to the future that we have line symmetry in physics and in the geometry of the physical world. Everything that is part of this infinite process will have line symmetry including matter and antimatter, positive and negative electric charge, forming symmetry between electricity and magnetism, forming electromagnetic fields. Every electron has an antiparticle counterpart that forms a perfect and complete symmetry in the fabric of the space-time of our universe. Physicists have seen antimatter moving backwards in time, but it is always annihilated in a flash of light, forming a photon. In quantum atom theory, this is not because antimatter is moving backwards in time, but because this process is forming part of the forward passage of time itself. Time only ever moves one way, therefore it is always antimatter that is annihilated. One of the biggest mysteries in physics is why there isn't more antimatter in our universe. This theory can explain this. Antimatter is always annihilated, forming photons and wave functions of future probability as part of a continuous process forming the continuum of time and geometry of space-time. When antimatter is annihilated, it creates a photon, forming a new symmetry in the form of positive and negative electric charge. An electric charge is an innate property of matter and will generate an electric field that will extend into free dimensional space. It is time variations within electric fields that act as a source for magnetic fields, and time varying magnetic fields is a source of electric fields. When one field is changing in time, then a field of the other is induced. This whole process that forms electromagnetic fields can be traced back in time, from positive and negative charge to matter-antimatter annihilation caused by an exchange of photons, formed by the inward absorption and outward emission of light or electromagnetic radiation. In quantum atom theory, this same process of the inward absorption and outward emission of light or electromagnetic radiation forms the forward passage of time, photon by photon. In this theory it is only logical that the wonders of modern electronics are based on the paradoxes of quantum mechanics. This is because an electric potential within an electric field is part of the same process that forms the potential possibility of any future event forming the probability of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. This theory might be wrong, but it seems odd that we have such profound symmetry between matter and antimatter, positive and negative charge, electric and magnetic, magnetic fields, and that time itself should have the same symmetry in the form of a past and future, forming the arrow of time.